Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, I will try to do it in English, as it was uh, expected. Vinter uh, is a regional airline operating here in the Canary Islands and uh, Africa, in the next countries in near Africa, and also Portugal and the Spanish mainland. Um, I will try uh, today, we have a very little time, to expose uh, two use cases of mobile applications uh, applied for crew uh, management and maintenance. We also in the Binter group have uh, several maintenance companies who repair and maintain air airplanes. So we have developed some uh, applications uh, for further use. Uh, the first uh, use case, uh, use for crew, that I will address is the electronic flight pack. Uh, this kind of uh, devices exist already in the industry, uh, normally working as standalone devices, not connected to other systems. And uh, what we have developed uh, is uh, some integrations with other systems, uh, permitting them to have information in real time that uh, allow us to optimize the operation in a significant manner. Uh, the features that we have implemented, the most important ones, are the weight and balance calculations for the airplane. This is a mandatory uh, need that we have to do before every flight. Uh, also, we uh, register some operational data of the, of the flight for uh, afterwards exploiting it and uh, obtaining information for continuing optimizing the operation. And uh, we have also implemented some uh, tools for uh, optimizing the fuel consumption, which is a, a very uh, important uh, cost factor of the flight. Uh, what we have pursued is, uh, in the first time, uh, reducing the crew workload. Uh, it is very important uh, nowadays, and it's more and more a concern, uh, having um, simplified uh, human man-machine interfaces for all the systems that the pilots have to manage, uh, having um, very uh, useful devices for the pilots in order to reduce uh, fatigue and reduce workload for them. Uh, this is always uh, pursuing uh, improving the flight security. No? Also, we need to optimize uh, operational time and integrate uh, this information into other systems of the company. No? Uh, let's go directly into the example. When the pilot uh, gets uh, the tablet, uh, he actually, uh, after validating, uh, gets um, the flights he has assigned every day. Here we see, for example, uh, this pilot has four flights in this line for, for the day operating. Uh, there is some information about the origin and destiny, scheduled departure times, arrival times, and so on. So uh, in the first sight, he, he has the information about the, the flights he has to do. Uh, he can also, by clicking, go into the detail of a flight. And this is one of the most important uh, parts of the system because uh, normally you have in all EFB systems this information about origin, destiny, planning, schedules, and so on. But uh, in, the, in the right uh, position of the screen, you see some information uh, which is obtained from other systems in real time, which is not normally the use. For example, you have the passenger forecast for this flight, so the pilot knows in real time how many passengers he's expected to have in this flight. Also the bags, and also information for transit and bags uh, passengers. Uh, also, um, for example, uh, special services that uh, has a flight, for example, passengers in wheelchairs or uh, oxygen bottles, things like that, are informed in the screen in real time. That means uh, that allows both the crew and the handling agents uh, preparing this operation, anticipate, and therefore reducing the operational time in the airport. Reducing time in the airport means reducing cost and optimizing efficiency. And the next uh, screen shows, for example, uh, the main uh, functionality that, that they have to do in this uh, tablet, in this AFP, which is the weight and balance calculation. Therefore, they have to uh, introduce some uh, fuel consumption data, for example, taxi fuel or fuel on board before uh, starting the, the flight. Uh, they have to introduce uh, or, or better uh, redistribute the number of um, men, women, children, and so on uh, 
in the different sections of the plane in order to calculate uh, a good balance and a good uh, weight distribution, and also for cargo and uh, bags and so on in the lower part of the screen, they have to distribute it in order to make the, the calculations. After introducing this data, this, this would be the result of the calculation. The system checks uh, if this weight distribution and balance is well achieved. If not, uh, the pilot will get alerts, and this, um, the system will propose uh, some redistributions of the cargo or, or the passengers in order to ensure the security of the operation. And uh, basically, uh, the last of the screens of this um, approach is um, some operational data that we use for optimizing the operation. The pilot is uh, requested to introduce, for example, uh, parking, uh, parking's use, uh, landing or and starting. Uh, if there are delays, for example, the cost of the delay and the minutes uh, of the delay, this information will be exploited afterwards to optimize uh, parking, uh, analyze uh, root cause of the delays and so on, and, uh, and also the, the real uh, departure and arrival data. Okay. Okay. And the second uh, use case uh, is uh, related to maintenance, as I said before. There we have implemented, for example, the routing of the planes. I will explain now what is meant under routing. And uh, the work order and work packages planning and assignment to the technicians. What we have, uh, what the aim here was to increase the productivity of the technicians who work in the aircraft, uh, reduce the aircraft on ground time, and uh, also integrate this information in, in real time with other systems. Here we see, for example, uh, <coughs> for each um, registration number of the plane, for each plane, uh, and for each hour of the day, what are the flights uh, program and when they will be available for maintenance for doing the operation. Normally, uh, I will explain maintenance uh, has two kinds of maintenance. Uh, what we call base maintenance is um, a longer period, normally two times a year, where the planes uh, are in the hangar several weeks. And then we have what we call line maintenance, which is uh, performed on a daily base every day and uh, it may be necessary after each flight. So uh, with these letters, LT and so on, you can see the type of maintenance which is assigned to each plane at every time of the, uh, of the day. And also if a pilot, for example, um, detects some failure during the flight, inform is on the, ti in the, on the tablet, this information is uh, on real time, informed to the, uh, to the technicians these are the things uh, marked in red, uh, informing them that they have to perform a specific maintenance for this uh, incident that the pilot has found. So uh, another point uh, which is very important is, for example, all related with fuel. I said before, uh, what we have learned is uh, uh, normally, uh, before we had implemented this tool, uh, the fuel, uh, management in the airport was the provider uh, approaches with a truck to the airplanes and asks the pilot if there's uh, refueling needed. Uh, this is a very manual uh, procedure, but it, it was like so, like that. Uh, actually, uh, the fuel provider gets real time information about the needs of the fuel in every step of the flight during the day. So we have reduced a lot the a number of uh, times the planes are refueled, and uh, we tell the pilot where to, re to refuel, when, and how much. So it's better uh, the pilot uh, doesn't have to think about when refueling, how much, and so on. The system will uh, give this information and will provide this information also to the fuel provider in order to reduce this operation. This has meant about uh, 200,000 euros of cost reduction a year, for example. Uh, returning back to the maintenance, in the back office, the people who plan the maintenance of the planes, um, in this application for each plane, they uh, introduce the work packages to be performed, the work orders for each technician, so that they can have the, the information in real time and don't need to go to the hangar to, 
to get the work orders. Before that, uh, normally technicians had to go to the hangar, print the work orders, uh, take it on paper to the plane, perform their operation, return to the hangar, introduce the results in a computer, and now they uh, are all the time in the plane or in the ramp. So you have a lot of time uh, reduction. This is, for example, the work order assignment for, for each uh, technician, where they can also introduce feedback and so on. So finishing, I try to be very fast. Uh, we have in these um, use cases uh, big challenges concerning, uh, uh, for example, security. Obviously, we have strict re uh, security requirements. We need robust and secure communication schemes. Also, we have to protect data, uh, privacy, uh, reliability, and integrity. And uh, one of the, the most interesting problems we had to address was the, um, dealing with uh, network availability. In several of the countries that we operate in Africa, there's not, not always uh, availability of 3G or 4G. So we have to work offline. We have to introduce data uh, in the tablets and store it offline, and then synchronize it with the central server uh, whenever we, we get uh, online. So this was a, a very interesting problem to solve. And actually, we are working uh, with uh, CryptoLL and, and, and this group uh, with, uh, con uh, in things like uh, connecting devices together, like vehicles or agents in the airport, agents through their ID cards or smartphones. That means um, whenever we can provide a data and avoid uh, somebody introducing it in the system, it will be better for operation, it will be faster. So if the, if the pilot has to introduce less data, it will be better. No? And uh, also things uh, related to geolocation in order to, to optimize more and more the operation. Uh, the goal um, finally is uh, to reduce the operation time in the airport as uh, much as possible because uh, that will improve the service to the passengers, reduce costs, and bring uh, more efficiency. Thank you very much.